Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Global Space Program, where I decided to ditch the Rocco Max fucking things, whatever it is. Fuck it, don't care. We're going to take Orbit Kerbin and Test Separatron above Kerbin. I think these are going to be two very easy things to do. So first we have to achieve a stable orbit, then we have to get a Separatron to fire. That can be done. Okay, so we're starting from scratch here. I just needed to, you know, back up, start from scratch for a bit. I got too crazed up. I've decided that I'm crazy. In all respects. Alright. Okay. Uh, we'll need that. I just need to make an orbital craft. Uh, that's my challenge. Orbital craft in less than 30 parts. Orbital craft in less than 30 parts. No, oh, you want the P30 there. We need radial decouplers. Okay, can we get radio decouplers? Like, do we do we have the capacity for that at all? We have 52 science. Shouldn't be too hard. Go talk to our boys over the lab. General construction. Radial decouplers. I'll take them. Advanced rocketry is nice and all. I mean, th th those fuel tanks would be great, but... Let's face it here. I, I need radial decouplers for anything at this point. Alright. Alright. Say four. What, what, what's our current part? We're halfway through our part limit. That, that, that's easy to deal with. So 19. 23. And then 27, if I'm not mistaken. Following uh, my numbers here. Hopefully. Twenty-seven. Okay, so we got three room for three parts. So, three parts. What are we taking with us? Well, there's some obvious ones. One of these hush puppies. Actually, no. It should stand just fine on its own. Is let's not waste our valuable uh, space on that. I think what we take with us on one side is a goo capsule. And on the other, a separatron for testing purposes. They pay good money. It's hard to argue. So Sceptron obviously will not want to fire at the same time as parachute. Alright. Can't bring the We need something more. This isn't going to be enough. I want to put that there, but in order to do that, I obviously, you know, require a cup decoupler. There. I. Th and then I need the stability. Yeah, okay. 30 out of 30 with the Zepatron. Drop one fuel tank. That's and then just pray. Well, actually, that should be enough. Yeah. Twenty nine out of thirty. Okay. No, it wasn't a launch doohickey. That's what I wanted. It was a scientific doohickey. Yeah, we want these to fire at the same time, actually. That will, however, detach far before this. Uh, we're going to run the engines at lower power at start. I just need them for gimbling for the most part. They will be there to gimbal an actual drive. On the main stage engages there. That puts the 30 out of 30. 
I was to pray it fucking works. Alright. This is over half of our friggin' budget. This needs to get us into orbit. Okay, the Separatron needs to be separately staged. Right here. Probably, anyway. Yes. Okay. Let's do it. I well, might at least looking happy, so. Alright. Three, two, one. <sighs> this thing's gonna just tip over, isn't it? There's no way it's gonna stand on just one leg like this. Physics activated, SAS on. Oh, wow, it actually does stand up. Whatever. Let's move. Like I said, I want to keep uh, the stuff on low for the moment. It's mostly for gambling purposes. I mostly want uh, the solid fuel booster to carry. Plus two, six, six percent. Keep it on low until uh, we have to actually engage. Solid fuel booster run out, then we detach that so it's lighter, so that way uh, we get more bang for our buck with the liquid fuel. Perfect. This is actually working astoundingly well for a prototype design. Generally a lot better than usual. Usually we have at least one explosion before we even get off the launch pad. Full power! And not liking the fact that we're already halfway through this stage. I'm not certain if we'll have enough power to get us up. Hopefully. Hopefully we do. Thirty part limit starting to come into into weight. I mean, I, I think if I uh, get the better rocketry, I can go about getting perhaps an orbit around the moon. Yeah, I, I feel like that's within the realm of possibility. Um, like, cause just so I can cut down on the number of fuel tanks. Engage main stage. Go. All right, we're still accelerating. That's good. Perhaps that fourth uh, tank would have been too much. I wouldn't know for certain. Oh, 600. This should accelerate us pretty good, though. Things work well. Note that jab. Oh, fuck, what's the key to get out of this again? V, that's right. I just like, it's, it's, it's V, right? V? Yeah. I've been forgetting to do an orbital uh, gravity turn, haven't I? Yeah, my Apple apps is well good enough. Okay, disengage SAS. It's time for human to take over. I believe that's what I'm supposed to be targeting right now. I believe we want a minus 15 degrees. Say that's on. Perfect. And gun it. So I totally botched and forgot gravity turns existed. For some reason. I was just happy the thing launched. That's okay, we're making up for it. I'm actually doing a decent amount of work. This, we might have enough for an orbit here. This might be orbital. Yeah, we're gonna make orbit easy. I don't have much fuel in the stage. Assuming I make orbit, can we get down? Comes the next question. I hope so. Reduce. Okay. So, due to fuel efficiency concerns, I'm going to move to the apoapsis before we finish the orbit. And we do have a periapsis, well, technically. Due to fuel concerns, though, we're going to the apoapsis first. Man, I do not have much instruments. I'm practically flying blind up here, aren't I? Pretty close. Uh, 
periapsis, 93. It's too high to test the Sepertron, isn't it? It is. The uh, periapsis actually has to be lowered slightly in order to test the Sepertron properly. On the plus side, we've achieved orbit around Kerbin. I really do want to make this flight worthwhile, though. Alright, cool. So, while we're up here, can we also test the goo? Observe the mystery goo. Inoperable after transmitting. I'm brittle. Very good. Give me a crew report. While in space near Kerbin. Really? Whatever. I was hoping they'd be different for around Kerbin. But apparently not. So, we need to close in on our periapsis. Time warp will slow us down. Alright, 92,300 is when we can activate the Sepatron. Yep, altitude good. Test the Sepatron, son. I figured that would spin us around. I'm not too worried about it, though. At worst, it caused our, per uh, our periapsis to shake. Put a stop to the spinning, please. Thank you. Thanks, Jeb. Alright. Now we just need to move to the apoapsis. And then bring the periapsis in. Nice and easy. We still have plenty of fuel. I was worried over nothing. But still. Always best, I suppose, to be careful. We don't want Jeb getting stuck out here. Christ knows how long it would take me to rescue him. Alright. Burn Retrio Gradio. Oops. And there you go. Uh, Alright. And there we are. And go. Easy. Into the atmosphere we come. We shall now disengage the separation system. Disengage SAS. I think they expect you to, like, recover 100% of all suborbital flights. Probably 100% of most orbital flights, too. Alright, 15, 14, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. I don't know how high above we are. We're approaching it now. Oof. Boom. <laughs> Boom. How the hell do we end up touching down anyway? Somewhere. Hopefully this is considered a different biome or something. Let go. EVA report. Kerbin's Islands. Eh, keep the data. In we go. Recover the vessel. So, hopefully that was worth at least a decent amount of science. Please be worth a decent amount of science. Please be worth a decent amount of science. Oh, hell, we're rich. 91 grand. All right, 67 science. 650 reputation. Okay. So that's going to be important because we're going to need advanced rocketry. Larger fuel tanks. It's actually not so much that we need the larger fuel tanks for, like, carrying more fuel so much as we do for the need to have less parts, which actually means we can fit more stuff in the VAB in general. So this design actually works out pretty well. We're going to take it to its logical conclusion, obviously. Tends to be how I do things. And perhaps may not be the best way of doing things, either. So, 
So the first thing we're doing is we're upsizing. Complete and total upsize. Basic answer, because we can. There. Those two fuel tanks are the equivalent of the four, but we had three before, so that all actually works out just fine. Which puts us down to 29 parts, which will drop as we go to 28. Uh, no, we, we really do not want symmetry on this. This is as nice as it would be. Alright. So that gives us 28 parts. We, we do need a structural holder. Logical conclusion. The upgrade. This is the upgrade. No, nope, that fires at the same time. But this, without question, separates for this. This should release here. Then that fires, and that stages, and that fires, and that stages. Yes. All right. I think we have a design, like an actual working design. Well, let's see. We do have five. Ah, uh, you know what? What the hey? The Mooner. Five. Of course, named after the Saturn V. After our five liquid rocket engines. Actually, no, it's, it's the four. The Saturn 411. Or the Mooner 411. 4411. And its destination will theoretically be the moon. We hope. Though I believe we need to write contracts. I believe the next contract is to establish an orbit around the Mun and stuff. Or is it, is it just straight to land on the Mun? I forget. I hope it isn't. It's not where I want to go. Um. Oh, contracts here. Explore the Mun. Oh, shit. Okay, good. It, good, 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 good. Okay. Alright. Um. Achieve orbit around the Mun. That. Uh, this, this alone is 30 grand. And, you know, uh, so we're looking at easily, oh, we're looking man. to spend, if, if this works out properly, we're looking to spend less than 60 grand. This thing's half price, pretty much. Alright. We do have... Hmm. Okay. We have one extra part. So just to help ease my mind, I'm going to put a second one of these in. So this is destined for the Mun, hopefully. Yeah. Oh. Right. Okay. Alright, so here's the problem. I'm going to be flying this blind almost. I realize that we sort of have an instrumental problem. It makes it sound really big, which it is. Ah, good, okay, so I, I was figuring out what we needed. Stability assist, prograde, retrograde hold? Huh, I don't know what that means. I figured that, that was a thing that would get us a level up, though. Uh, with Jeb. Okay. Go to the tracking station here. Where's Kerbin HQ? Here it is. Where's the moon right now? At high noon. Unacceptable launch parameter. So I have to fly pretty much by the seat of my pants here. And I don't like that, but I don't really have a choice in the matter, so... We want them. Oh crap, right, this is rotating. Shit. <laughs> For some reason, I figured this would stay stationary. No, I'm freaking dumb.
I need to remain at about 90 degrees to the Mun at all times and wait for Kribble Command to come into sight. Oh, well, we're pretty much back to where we were. I don't know if I can make that window. Nah. Yeah, that's 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 a good window, I think. So, as we've seen, my instruments don't do anything, and I'm not 100% confident that they're going to give me um, encounters. I'm wagering they won't, because I mean they don't even they don't give me even less basic data than that, or more basic data, I suppose, is the correct term. So they don't even give me more basic data than that. So. If I had to guess, it's not going to be pretty. <sighs> SAS on. Huh? Oh, wait, is this... So, can I just click these to say, tell Jeb to burn whatever? Huh. Noted. That makes things easier. It's like mech Jeb all over again. Alright. I'm just immediately launching with 100% power because we have twice as much fuel as we did before in these tanks on the exterior, so uh, we should be okay. Yeah, no, we, we, we need a full power. That's what I thought. Alright, so theoretically, if I have aimed this right, we will have a Moonar encounter. And I believe I've aimed it right. And so the reason I'm just doing this is because I'm not certain that I'm going to get encounter data off of uh, my instruments. That might be an upgrade that I need to purchase. I'm just assuming everything is an upgrade at this point. Which, to be fair, isn't a terrible thing to think. For now, we should go even faster. Oh dear. Okay, phew. Just a very brief period where we were decelerating. We're okay, though. The, uh, the 411 Muna is working. So we don't need to do a gravity turn, that's the good news. Count our blessings, I suppose. Hmm. Yeah, we just go straight then. So I guess I have to unlock all that. Don't know what some of these even are. I know some of these, but I don't know other ones. I know these two. I know those two. I think I know those two. I have no idea what this one is, though. I've seen these all symbols before. I only know some of them, though. We'll see. We shall see. I guess this is stability assist, yeah. So that's just regular SAS mode. The one we all know and love at this point. Looks like this one's actually gonna, like, get us out of the atmosphere, almost. Yeah, this stage looks like it's gonna get us out of the atmosphere. <laughs> wow. That's actually impressive. Wasn't expecting that. Oof. Alright. Yeah, the apple apps. We're out of the atmosphere. Go. 46,000. 47,000. 48,000 and climbing. Good. So we have an. Uh, about 50% more fuel on the stage than we did uh, last time we went. I suppose can we... No, they, they... What? Sweet. So I can just do this. Excellent. Used to be that you couldn't do it while under acceleration. I'm glad they've changed that. Because these launch... Because this stage is going to burn for a long while. Much like the last one. Time warp times one. Yeah, we have a fine times warp. While the ship is under acceleration. Okay, so apparently we can do atmospheric ones. We can't need to go much farther. Because uh, I can say that uh, the escape velocity for Kerbin is 2700 meters a second. Just go straight out. Yeah, so we 
can't need to go too much quicker than this. I think uh, once we shed the stage, we'll have no problem getting there. We have twice as much fuel in this stage as we did before, so... We should have no uh, particular problem with us at all. Alright. Okay. Let's start raining in the engine a bit. Christ, the difference in escape velocity is like 100 meters a second. Seriously. Alright, so this should get us pretty close to a mud encounter. If not, I can go out a little further and force it on the way back. Basically what we're going to be hoping for. Like I said, I'm not trusting my instruments on this, other than to give me any data it immediately represents until I see it do something else. Yeah, we're going to catch this, aren't we? Easily. So the instruments are not giving me the encounter info. Good to know. At least I think it, we're going to catch it. Yes, we did. All right. Noted. Instruments are not giving me encounter info. That's very important to know. I'm glad I thought of that. So let's just have these new SAS functions, uh, because we need to burn retrograde to slow us the hell down the second order periapsis. Because we do need to establish an orbit for this. The first objective is establish an orbit. Ooh, do not go too quickly. Could be very bad. Once the periapsis, we're good. Let's burn retrograde and we're fine. It shouldn't be too hard to escape the either. Alright. What the hell? Don't disappear on me. That is way outside the moon's orbit. That will put me right solidly back into Kerbin. What the hell? Okay, instruments, I cannot rely on them for shit all. I'll say one million. Actually. Okay, we have orbit. That's the good news. Alright, observe the mystery goo. Right home here. 20 signs. Great, great. Give me a crew report, would you? Great. Good stuff, good stuff. Let's do our victory lap around the mun, shall we? Yeah, it's orbital. Just barely. Now, I want to be leaving here. There, there it is. Well. <sighs> I missed my periapsis there. This is the part where I want to leave. Um, question, no, in this case we want to speed up. No, we want to wait. I want to be about as fuel efficient as possible because I don't know when I'm going to come out as. It should be okay. Uh, I just need to wait for a little while. Until the apoapsis is pointing directly or close to Kerbin. That is our ideal scenario. And, uh, well. And I need to remember to actually... Alright, looks like we're doing a lot of laps around the mud. <laughs> Christ. Alright. I need to remember. Worst time to do it... This one coming up, I think. Too early? Too early. The next one. Yeah. Alright, coming up on this periapsis. Okay. Oh, that's eh, good enough. SAS. Prograde, please. God, this is awesome. I don't even have to. Damn it, Jeb, don't overshoot. Pay you for a reason here. Okay, so I think I can still override it to give it a little extra help. I want my apoapsis maybe to meet Kerbin. 
We'll see. That'll definitely bring me out of the moon's orbit. I have no idea what we're actually looking at, though. Hopefully we're not looking at a min-miss encounter. That's the worst thing that could happen here. Oh, Christ. Are we real? Okay, good. <laughs> I was worried for a moment. Just like, oh, you're kidding me. First off, we're going to want retrograde. Yeah, I could have totally hit a friggin' min-miss encounter at this point. Alright, coming up on the apoapsis now. We're going to want... Retrograde. Full fire, and bring the periapsis down to nothing. Perfect. Now I just have to be careful enough not to crash into the planet because of time warping too quickly. I could have that happen. I'm also pretty certain we won't end up with a Mooner encounter. Our orbit might match on the way back, but we're not coming back, so it's irrelevant. I need to slow us down on, on occasion and stuff. Because we are speeding up constantly, it's kind of hard to... Actually, no, we don't want any SAS right now. However, I do want to slow down. Altitude's only 2 million. Needless to say, we're coming in quick. Remember, one of our objectives is to recover data from orbit around the moon. Transmitter recovers scientific data from space around the moon. We have scientific data from space around the moon. We, that's why we brought the goo with us. Oof. 44 days out here, but hey, whatever. It's perhaps not the best move on my part. Alright, we're about to enter the atmosphere. So, I'm going to initialize this final separation stage. Well. And pray the fuck the air brake saves us. That's really only... Oh, God. Oh, shit. Shouldn't have been... Uh, it is... Four times speed is bad. Woo, Nelly. Air brake, please. Thank you. Oh, Christ. Air brake is good. Five, four, three, two, one... Oof. Ah, Christ, I was, I was scared when I was missing the arrow there. I, half of my fuck-ups are just caused because I do that. Badly. But you know what? Hey, we just got a Mooner orbit. Not bad, considering I have a 30 freaking part limit. Christ. Ah, well, we did it. Recovered the damn vessel. Hey, we're rich. 115,000. Alright, 98 science. We got no reputation for that. Really? Eh. Recover. Huh, we got an extra couple hundred there. For each of those. Alright, so the next thing is to actually land on the moon, which is going to be tricky. I don't think it's possible with 30 parts. 30, 30 parts I don't think is a is a chance because we need space for landing legs and all sorts of other things no that's fine 100 means that we can research up to this the question is do we need this anymore not really I think now we have to start looking at survivability and stability and other things Things that uh, can get a science. Things that can actually make it possible to land on the moon. Both of those are definitely possibilities. Things we'll definitely need. Maybe. I guess I have to look for things that I can, you know, make use of elsewhere. Research 45 science. Do I? Do I? Yes. Why? Because it gets me things like this. Again, I have lander legs. I 
I mean, with my current uh, setup here, I can get a lot of things. Do we need flight control? Not really. Did Jem level up again, by the way? I wonder if he did. So did the astronaut complex. Nope. Orbits around the month three, orbits around current two. But he's halfway to it. Maybe if we get him a Minmus encounter. Should definitely consider them. Alright. Putting all my eggs in the Jeb basket. Hope to God we don't lose them. Alright, so that got us a lot more parts. In particular, science related parts. So if we get more science related parts, it also means we have fewer parts to actually use. Explore Minmus. Achieve orbit around Minmus. Recover scientific data from around Minmus. Land on Minmus. That'll be easier. The question is, I'm not certain I can get Minmus uh, properly. I might be asking, well, why? I think I need more data from my freaking instruments. That's why. And I'll tell you exactly why. Because Minmus, you'll notice, is not on a uh, proper equatorial orbit. It, without question, is on a slant. So, the question is, what do I upgrade? Patched conics visible on the map. Landed graph can be recovered from here as well. I have no idea what the hell is, if that helps. That doesn't seem to help. Kerbals can perform EBAs. Not really helpful. Tempted to take this. Because that would allow me to just have more ma active contracts. Explore Duna and Ike, neither of which are going to happen. Not anytime soon, anyway. Not with 30 part maximums here. That sure is only going to happen. Uh -huh. Just a basic jet engine splashed down at Kerbin. What? For 1,500, that might be possible. Wow, it's 34 science. Radial mount parachute. While going incredibly slowly. Like, that's incredibly slowly. Suborbital trajectory over Kerbin. Staging sequence when all test conditions are met. Kerbin. Suborbital trajectory at 74,000 meters. Yeah, the skipper liquid engine, no. Do this while orbiting Kerbin for 90, well, 110,000. The fuck is this thing? The S1 SRB S, or the SRB KD 25K. What the hell is that thing? Oh, is that what I think it is? No, I don't actually own it. Um, is, is that the Giganto Booster Rocket? It might be. Because if so, I'm not fucking taking that contract. I am not taking that contract. I think it is. I need, I need to go to the research thing. Yes, it is. Fuck no. Not, not, no, 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 just no. Basic jet engine will splash down. Yeah, it's possible? I'm just trying to think, like, how could I do this for 1,800? But 34 science is pretty good. I'm just trying to think to myself, could I do this? Hmm. If I had the radial mount parachutes, it might be possible. If I had them. Because I could launch right into the ocean uh, and be going slow enough to actually keep those things alive. We'll see. It's at least possible. The question is, without instruments, how the hell do I progress to Minmus? That is a question that I'm going to have to answer next episode. We managed to make Muna orbit, though. I'll take it. 
Because hey, this thing's actually alright. The 411, not bad. But getting to Minmus without instruments, that's that's tricky. Hmm. We'll see. Thank you everybody for watching. As always, this has been your lovely host, Kelvin, signing off.